Well, we got a little Miss Gold Digger on the steps here. And I'm not sure if that's her daddy. <laughs> but there is a family resemblance. Right, Panda Cat? You came over here and you meowed and I gave you some food, huh? So, and my boy over here, Putin, came by and he saw them eating out there. And he goes, meow, meow. And I gave him the same thing, even though I just fed him ten minutes ago. God. Tension-seeking yo-yos. But she's getting a lot better. I'm going to have to leave her alone for a day with him them inside. I hope nothing goes wrong. But she's getting a lot better with him. First I was thinking, oh God, is she going to get along? But yesterday, or last night, she was sleeping on one corner of the bed. I'm sleeping on the bed, and Putin's sleeping on the other corner. So I was like, well, <laughs> we weren't too far away from each other. And then, uh... She walked right by Rocky, about less than two feet away, just about an hour ago. And she didn't hiss, and he didn't hiss. We're kind of like looking at each other and shit, but... So... So when the hell she come in? Uh, October 31st, October 30th, October 31st? Today's what, November... Well, we're going on November 5th to Sunday. So... It's pretty quick, I guess. I guess in a month she'd probably be rolling around with them and shit. It's a little fluffer nutter. It's kind of funny. I got the girl cats, the white cat, you know. It's like a little blondie, poofy. She can tell she's a... I, I don't know if... I guess they are smaller, maybe. And, but she is tiny. She's like... Tiny little... She didn't have much claws or nothing, either. Her head is smaller, too. She's a little... She's a little... Little, little beady goo. Freaking! First, I was thinking she was bitchy, but you know she's she's scared. It's like everybody's, you know. And I guess being outside, she was extra scared. So when she came inside, she didn't realize these guys are friendly in there. But uh, she thinks she's figuring it out. So she's scared. She that you were scared, huh? You little emerald eyes, huh? She's a real sweet cat, though, really. She uh, sleeps a hell of a lot, man. I think she sleeps... I say an average cat sleeps 15, 16 hours a day. She might... Up to 20 hours. She's closer to 20, man. She sleeps a lot. But she's, she, don't, she don't do nothing. She doesn't go anywhere. and She just wants to be home. <laughs> right? Yeah. Woo. You see her by the fireplace. And there's Daddy over there. Is it you, Daddy? You daddy cat, Mr. Panda Cat, is that you? I seen him uh, in a security camera. And uh, he didn't have enough food, so I gave him another can. You still freaking hungry? God. Big Ben. <laughs> this guy's bad. You know, cats are pretty uh, self regulating, though, with food. I mean, dogs. If you put a can of, I mean, I'm not against dogs or nothing, but if you put uh, food in front of a dog, you'll just keep eating until they throw up or some shit. You know, they don't know when to stop. <laughs> Cats are pretty self-regulating, right? You self-cleaning, you go to the poopy bathroom. He used the litter box. I've seen you do that. So, anyway. And you're getting along with Mr. Mr. Putin up here. Right? Why? What are you doing there, Mr. Putin? <laughs> You're protected behind that thing, huh? You can see out of there real good, but you know you got protection, huh? Yeah. Arf, arf. Look at her. She's a little... You're just a little statue, aren't you? Huh? She's a calm little... She's probably going to turn out to be... I don't know. She might turn out to be somebody really... Cat is really you okay? You you still okay? You need more fucking food or what? Damn it! You're just ridiculous. You ate part of that food that was there. Just gave you a whole can. You want more? Are you still hungry? Boy, it's the closest I ever got to you, man. Look at me. See my hand? See the camera looks like he's farther away. I'm, my hand's about a foot from him. Hi. What's that? Hi. You're a big old dude, huh? Want some more food? Wow, huh? You lay down right in front of me? 
one other can. Hey, Mr. Panda Cat, you're going to be pretty damn friendly, aren't you? Aren't you, huh? <laughs> you know what? You just might. You might be the daughter. That's true. You might be, but I'm like saying, well, how come? Well, you know what? You're not afraid of. You're not afraid of people too much. Yeah, let me see something here. Got my zapper thing I'm wearing. I wonder if I could put my finger over here. Can I put my nose here? Hi. See? Hey, what? What are you meowing about, huh? Hmm? Huh? You want attention? Cats give you one, one gets attention, the other one wants attention. Huh? I think she's going to poopy bathroom or something. She goes out here to go to the bathroom once in a while. She only uses a litter box all the time. What's she's doing? <laughs> right? You want some food? Want some more? Is that your daughter? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Is that your daughter? You okay, little buddy? You think you a twitch back there or some shit? Oh, you're burping, huh? You ate too much. I ain't gonna give you no more food. <laughs> you got Ajita, huh? <laughs> You're a good old guy, you know that? You're a good old guy, huh? You're a big old dude, too, man. You're a big cat. How'd you have such a little daughter? Unless she's not grown up all the way. Anyway. I don't know if that's your daughter, but it could be. Most cats are, like, gray and, you know, or brown and white and black, you know? She's mainly white and you're mainly, you're half and half. Right? Hmm. <laughs> By the way, I was watching some some stuff on uh, Tony Pro Provenzano on uh, YouTube. There's only one video or two videos out on there on him. Um, I don't want. Actually, it was uh, he was uh, it was a long time ago. God, probably like 50 years ago or something. He was a neighbor. Basically, uh, definitely lived under a half a mile away. Because um, I used to go to the school where his daughter went. She was like one year ahead of me. So, <laughs> it's kind of weird because that was before all this stuff went on. You know, he was like a truck driver, became a union guy and shit. You know, I don't know. Everything gets hyped up, though. You know how that is, right? Huh? What are you doing, little panda cat? Huh? Well, I was kind of reminiscing. I just kind of looked that up. and I, said, I don't know why the hell I looked that up, but it was like... I don't know. What are you doing? Your ears are back. What's the matter, huh? Hmm? I'm going to give him some treats. That's what I'm going to do. So he doesn't get some dry shit. Well, he's got some treats. Some uh, temptations, mix ups, backyard barbecue cooking. <laughs> what do you say there, Panda Cat? You sure shit like those treats, don't you? Rocky likes them. Rocky's getting to be a big boy. Like he looks like a. Rocky reminds me of a big Italian dude that works in a pizzeria. Yeah, some shit, I swear to God. I don't know what to do with him, man. He pouts and he sits up next to. He goes up to me and he starts looking at me and squinting, pouting and shit. And he's like, "Oh, I'll be a good boy. Give me some treats." I was like, "Fuck, I can't give it. I can't it's not give it to him, man. He's like, he's getting big, man." Hoping maybe I could throw some diamaceous, tomaceous earth on them and purge it out of there somehow or something. I don't know. What the hell am I going to do with that shit? He actually, Rocky actually got so scared of Miss Goldigger when she hissed at him that he threw up. He was 
petrified, man. He's like a little kitten. I was like, you know, he actually he used to think this guy was a wild animal. That girl didn't know crap about what was going on in that cat's mind. Who had him before me? The foster. She had him for a year. She thought she was a wild animal. I was like, get the hell out of here. I was thinking he's a wild animal too, in the beginning. But for a while, I was like, holy shit, what a little kitten. He's a little, he's a little sweet cat, man. But he gets pissed off, and he <laughs> once in a while. Not too much. Really, most of the time he's a really super sweet cat. He gets pissed off at Goldie once in a while. Goldie's too playful, but uh, that's very rare. Actually, they're all they're interlocked, and they Goldie and him like they're him and Putin, and I don't know. They get along really good. Just once in a while, he gets you're aggravating me. You know, that's what he does. <laughs> This cat, I could, I could have called him Big Ben. He's a big dude. I never realized how big he is, man. He's a big, slow guy. Right? You want more? Don't bump your head on that bumper, man. Remember, you're under a car, you know that? <laughs> this guy's freaking still under it. Come here. You're looking for a morsel, huh? He's a fucking nerd. He, are you still nervous with me after a freaking year? Ah, here. Here, boo boo. There you go. Yeah, here, some more. There you go. You eat that? Yeah, he's rubbing you. You rubbing your head on the bumper? Huh? How the hell do you stay, keep, keep your fur white like that and you rub your head on a bumper, huh? Hmm. Where's your daughter? Taking a crap? She's taking a long time, man. She don't go far. Sometimes she goes on the other side of the fence or she goes in the front yard or some shit. I can probably find her. <laughs> it's freaking... Yeah, and we're rolling the time back. Ooh, yeah. One more hour. I'm still running my power zapper right now, man. I got it hooked up. Got one. Uh, got it hooked in my leg right here. <laughs> Whatever the hell this thing is doing, man, it's weird. You got to use the hell out of it, and then uh, it's like uh, I don't know, man. It's like. I don't know what the hell it is. It's sort of like. It's a subtle force, man. I don't know what the hell it is, man. I feel pretty good, even though it's pretty late. I was messing around starting up all my chainsaws and shit. Man, I got them all running good now. I got no wood to cut. I'm getting ready for ten. If I ever go up Tennessee, man, I got plenty of wood to cut up there. Let's get into production. We all start cold start first time. Cleaned out the carbs real good. Maybe this cat. Let's see if I can find old boo boo girl out here. Well, she disappeared, and I just saw her a second ago, right behind the car. He's wow, he's he's not jumping. Oh, that's amazing. Back here, are you? She went under the car. She was just right here. Where the hell she go? She's a sneaky little thing. <laughs> there she is. She's probably run under the car the whole time because I probably was well, trying to find her. The tire was blocking her and then she walked out. <laughs> she didn't even go nowhere. Fucking yo yo. Goes to show you, you just stay quiet one spot and he'll just find you, right? Don't make any moves. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to be bringing her in. But you should notice Panda Cat walk right by him. No problem. It's like, wow, he's getting really tame too. I could pick up boots. Man, the only one I, I, Onyx is the one I can't get near. But maybe within 10 feet, it's about, not even that, shit. 
little bit better though.